Hello, my friends. Uh, welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing. And if you are back, welcome back. Today, I'm here to join you all for a whip and chat. So feel free to whip out your whip and work alongside me. I'm just going to get comfortable and try not to shake the camera too much while I'm hanging out and chatting with you guys. Um, did I say this? Whip stands for work in progress. Chat stands for chat. So I'm going to be working on a diamond painting with you guys and trying to get you up a little bit closer again tonight so that you can watch me um, actually diamond paint. So I think some of you guys actually really enjoy doing that. And this is how much I love you guys, by the way. We're going to be diamond painting and I'm going to have a whole bunch of multi-placing of white diamonds, which you guys, multi-placing... <laughs> like colored diamonds is so hard. So look, this is how much I love you. I'm going to let you still like watch me diamond paint this particular area because it's the area that I'm on. You can't make fun of me too much. Okay. Okay. I need to go like rewatch my own multi-placing for perfectionist videos. I did do a couple of those videos, uh, like a year, a year and a half back at this point. If I remember, I'll link them in the description box. Oops. Sorry to bump you. Um, so if you're looking for some tips on multi-placing and if you're like me and need to go back and take a refresher course on that, uh, feel free to go and check that out. So here's what I'm going to be using and, and working with tonight. So first I'm going to be working on the kit Moonlight Bride from Diamond Art Club. Uh, which is a new release just released today actually it's currently saturday this video will go up monday but it's saturday this was my sneak peek for the week though more on that in just a sec actually <laughs> um but the other tools i'll be using i am trying to really really mix it up from some of my usuals and make sure that i'm still continuing to try and work with a variety of products from a variety of different small shops so these pens you will have seen in yesterday's small shop haul video because I finally got to one of those. It also had happy mail. This was a really thoughtful gift from a viewer named Jill and it's a dragon scale pen. Uh, and this is from O'Brien handmade diamond painting pens and it was an incredibly thoughtful gift. <laughs> very, very, very cool. And then this pen is from BFF diamond painting pens, which I have tried pens from them in the past, but it's been a while and they added some new shapes and they added a Facebook group and I just, I love this one so much. And then this is a tray actually from Bella Arts and Nicole and I ordered this tray as, uh, well this came in my mystery box from them. I haven't tr uh, worked with one of their trays in a while so I thought, hey, I'll give this one a try. This is in a color that was exclusive to the mystery box, I believe. It's got major fall vibes like coppers and olives and golds and stuff. The minder, okay, this is a little bit of a joke. So um, this is from, I believe this one is from inchworm designs on etsy shoot i will double check that i'll make sure i link the correct shop it's either from uh, inchworm designs or stitchy little things pretty sure it's inchworm designs on etsy but um <laughs> uh this is sam and dean winchester from the tv show supernatural and this is their car and i picked this because quite honestly i didn't really have many minders that matched this kit but i thought oh she's like a creepy ghost skeleton lady the Winchesters would totally hunt her down and take care of her so that she's not haunting people. I know, I know, it's a little bit, it's a little bit of a dark sense of humor here, but it just, it made me chuckle, okay? And then I'm going to be using, this is from Enablers Outpost. It is their putty, which they call Chit. This is the version two, which I have not tried before, and it's in the caramel corn scent, and I got a sample set from them. I ordered it a few weeks back, but we're gonna try it out in my multi-placer tonight. And then I really wanted to try Randa's hard and sticky scented wax again in my single placer since it's not quite as hot anymore. I wonder if it's gonna um, act a little bit different than I than it did the first time that I tried it, which is, it was just absolutely sweltering. Waxes and putties can truly behave very differently under different climate circumstances and different seasons. and and all that. So we're going to give this a try this evening. So um, let me get situated. Uh, let's work with, let's work with this pen because I haven't tried it out yet. I actually used this uh, a little bit the other day, but I haven't used this one at all. And so the tips are clean, so that'll make it easy to work with. All right. How are you guys doing today? <laughs> I hope that your week is off to a wonderful start. Um, like I said, it's currently Saturday evening and all's quiet in the house. I put the kiddos to bed and was like, all right, I'm gonna sit down and, and film. And I really, really just enjoy catching up and chatting with you guys. And one of my favorite things truly is to 
is to read the comments and see what you guys are are sharing with me about your about your week, what things you're working on, um, and responding to stuff I say in the whip and chat. I am not always good about remembering to heart comments, and I don't always have the ability um, or the time to respond to all the comments, but. I read every single one of them and I I really really appreciate that you've taken the time to to leave a comment on my video. It it means the world to me and I was just telling a friend earlier today that I truly don't know why <laughs> why you guys enjoy watching my content so much but I will say that I really really thoroughly getting uh, enjoy getting to know you guys and that you're that you're here and you interact with me and stuff. So yay, 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 yay. Um, all right, so this chit is a little bit, you know what, I think in the instructions that they gave, they actually recommended not doing what I just did. I don't know if they said don't do this, but my usual way of loading putty is to roll it like you just saw and kind of work it in there. I feel like they actually might have said in the instructions to just like press, but I think we might be okay. I think we might be okay. So I'm gonna mul I, like I said, I haven't used their version two before. So this is how brave I am. I'm gonna multi-place through a huge section with white <laughs> colors with a new to me putty product. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna cross our fingers that I am not slow on the learning curve, right? Right, please send me your good vibes here. <laughs> All right, let's load up the wax. Sorry to bump you. This is what happened last week. I just got really close. Ooh, this is still soft. I wonder if I should pop it in the freezer. I feel like that was something she had suggested before. To, maybe it just got really warm with like the summer months. I wonder if popping it in the freezer would maybe, maybe do the trick to kind of help it like reactivate or something. I'll have to double check. But I think we got some in there. It smells really, really good. Hold on, I'm gonna try to load up just a little bit more. I almost wonder, should I just be stabbing it? What would happen if I did that? Nope, that just ate all the wax that I had in there. All right, here, let's try this. Nope, okay, scraping is the way to go. Let's give this a try again. Scrape, I always like twist to try like different angles. This is how you know that this is not staged. <laughs> like you're watching me kind of try to learn as, as we go. Okay, and then I'm gonna try to like scrape off a little bit so the residue isn't too bad, okay. That's better. It smells so good. I love it. I mostly um, go for Randa's putty, but I like that she um, is trying out like waxes and stuff too. So yay. All right, let's open up this section. And we'll try to get to work here. Okay, let me try not to hit the camera while I do this. Try not to hit the camera while I do this. Um, so I will say, I'm letting you guys know up front, that at um, once we get a little bit further into the Whip and Chat, once I share just a couple of updates with you guys, I am going to be, in the later part of this Whip and Chat, I'm going to be responding to uh, Crafting with Susie did a set of tag questions um, that she did, I think she did a set of them last year that I just somehow completely missed <laughs> doing, and she did another set this year, and um, my sweet friend Lindsay at Emeralds and Fairy Lights did her round of them in her whip and chat last week. And she was like, I'm, you know, I completely forgot about doing these. I'm going to um, do them now. And I was like, okay, perfect. Like, um, I'm going to use that as my excuse. I'm just going to copy her <laughs> and do and do my, my set of tag questions now as well. Okay, that's, there we go. I know you can't really see the minder, but you'll just have to, you'll just have to go with me here. All right. Uh, so I'll be doing that later in the whip and chat. I wanted to do just some general updates first, but be sure to go and check out Crafting with Susie's channel. She is so incredibly sweet and um, she's really, really funny too. I enjoy her content a lot and I highly recommend checking, checking her out if you haven't seen her channel already. Also, she, as of the time of this filming, she is super, super close to 2000 subscribers. Can, so I'm gonna link to her channel below please go give her a follow, a subscribe, <laughs> and uh, let's get her to 2,000 subscribers, okay? I think that would be, that'd be really fun to do. Okay, so general updates on what's going on. Let me tell you about this kit first. So this kit was actually originally slated to release a few weeks ago. I originally was planning to work on it um, kind of secretly <laughs> and then reveal it once Diamond Art Club had, you know, previewed the 
the image for the week and stuff. And I filmed the unboxing and stuff. Again, this was maybe a month ago now even. And I'm unboxing it and I go, oh shoot, they definitely sent me a wrong, like the wrong special drill for one of these colors. And so um, I let them know, and thankfully, it was since it was a few weeks in advance, they were able to go like, "Okay, we're gonna um, we're gonna bump this release and figure this out." So I've been sitting on this kit <laughs> and had ultimately kind of just like moved it from my mind, the idea of working on it um, ahead of schedule or whatever. And then the day before my sneak peek was gonna go up, I was like, "Okay, let me go ahead and film this." You know the the replacement footage basically now that I have the correct drills and I know what diamond art club's going to do to handle this and stuff. Uh, and so I did that and then I was like, oh, let me put up a picture of the special drills for people in the VIP group and between the video and, you know, trying to get a, a good picture of the drills, the special drills that would really show off, um, their really amazing finish and stuff. I was like, okay, I am falling in love with these special drills so much. I am going to go kit this kit up. So it was definitely an impulse, <laughs> an impulse kit up, if you will. Which, speaking of those special drills, you guys want to see, because I've placed a few and they look amazing. Um, so they're a little bit more scattered sporadically throughout. But this is that big, like, um, black with the AB finish. And it has that, like, oil slick AB finish that's the same as the AB right here. Here's, like, some of those uh, slate blue, blue-gray ABs. And then... Oh, the white one, I don't think I'm quite gonna be able to get it in camera, but there, there's like some black and white ones kind of, kind of scattered throughout. Here's a, will it stretch? Will it stretch? Kind of, yeah. There's a couple more of the black ones here at the bottom. It looks really cool, right? It kind of takes up the space of like uh, four diamonds, like four round diamonds. So um, initially when I uh, opened it up and I was just looking at the drill field before I looked at the drills, I was like, are they gonna do quad cubes? Because <laughs> that's kind of what it looked like. Uh, but anyway, so I decided just completely on a whim, I was like, you know what, I'm going to, I'm just going to go ahead and kit this kit up. Um, because I knew that I wanted to ideally work on it for drills and chills this year. And, um, I didn't really want to wait. Also, uh, okay. I acknowledge that this is such a ridiculous thing that I have. It's, it's incredibly obnoxious. Like... I make fun of it about myself. I know that it's silly, but I still struggle with it anyway. Um, and I, you've, you've probably heard me talk about it before, but I really, really don't find myself like reaching for kits to work on that I'm seeing a ton of people working on at the moment. So I'm a huge sucker for working on a kit like this that's like a sneak peek that that no one else has yet. Um, because I'm, I know I'm the only one who has it at the moment. I, you can go ahead and judge me. I know how it sounds. I know, I know how it sounds. I, oh my gosh, this is shaking so bad. You guys, um, I know how pretentious and ridiculous and like uppity that sounds. I'm sorry. Uh, but I, here, I'm going to try to put a positive spin on it. I'm going to try to put a positive spin on it. I will say that I feel like when I see people, like especially a lot of people working on a particular kit, I feel like I'm getting almost as much enjoyment from watching their progress and seeing them work on it as I would have if I were working on it myself. So I'm kind of like, well, I'm getting to enjoy that kit via another person. Like, so I don't need to work on it myself. Like I get to enjoy it because someone else is working on it. Let me like get, oops, let me get some enjoyment from a different kit that someone isn't, isn't working on. So like, for example, I actually had every intention of working on Halloween Witch by Sarah Mustafa from Diamond Art Club. This is Drills and Chills, but I've gotten to see a lot of people share progress and finishes in uh, like the Diamond, uh, the Drills and Chills Facebook group and on Instagram and stuff. And I feel like, okay, I've gotten my fix on that kit. I don't really have a burning desire to work on it. Ooh, that spout's a little short here. Um, so I'm like, okay, well, maybe I'll work on that one next year. Heck, maybe I'll de-stash it. Who, who even knows? But um, so I thought, okay, I'm gonna just gonna quick kit this up. <laughs> and it's like a 50 by 70-ish kit, so it shouldn't take too long to work on. Um, I'll go with... I'll go with working on this one. Okay, this is not... <laughs> I'm used to pouring into like a bigger tray, <laughs> so I just way over poured. Um, yeah, that, that hardened sticky wax has kind of a lot of residue, um, 
I probably should have used like a like a sacrifice drill to get rid of some of that residue, but I, I don't have a sacrifice drill handy or one that I'm gonna grab. Um, ooh, sticky, sticky putty. Okay, let me fix that. Um, oh no, sticky single blazer. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my learning curve in action, you guys. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Just tells me I need to not get too comfortable with any one thing. <laughs> okay. So anyway, this kit has been really enjoyable to work on. And I'm finding as I work on it, like, uh, like I've, I've finished like a, the bottom row and then half of the second row. And as I'm working on it, I'm going, this is... I feel like a little bit outside of the kind of artwork that Diamond Art Club usually does. It has a really, really soft overall effect and a quite literally blurry effect in the original artwork in some areas. And I'm actually really enjoying and really intrigued by how this has been rendered by Diamond Art Club because I feel like many of us probably know that Diamond Art Club is known for its really clean and crisp rendering style. And this is not it at all, like, but in a good way. Um, it's really, really enjoyable to be like, oh, look at Diamond Art Club, like doing like a much softer kind of render. And so I am so incredibly curious to see how the rest of it is going to turn out. Um, this is like the bottom of her, of her dress. And like I said, parts of it are quite literally blurry. So I am seeing like lots of confetti, like some really pretty shading. And, um, it just feels like it has like a light touch to it. I don't know how to put it. I don't, I'm not an artist, but I just, like I said, I'm so curious to see like how it's gonna, how it's gonna turn out. But, um, yeah, I'm enjoying it a lot. It's not my typical like go-to art style either, actually. So it's kind of fun. Um, other things. Oh, I've started to feel like part of the reason that I think I kitted this up is because the other whip that I have going is Midnight Spell, which is like 70-ish by 90-ish kit from Diamond Art Club and Carissa Bug. Yes, I'm working on two Diamond Art Club kits at the same time. I, because I want to, <laughs> uh, but you know, I think that I kitted this up instead of spending more time on midnight spell, because I think I just am feeling some major fatigue about larger kits to the point that I went through and I, I made a, another, I do this a lot, so don't get too excited, but I made another pass that like a D stash list for my kits. And this time I felt like I was really, really um, incredibly picky about any kits in my stash that were like 60 by 80 and above and <laughs> definitely 70 by 90. I was like, if I am not in love with the artwork, it needs to go because I am not going to work on a kit in that size that I don't love. Like I just am finding that I, yeah, I'm having lots of fatigue about larger kits. So I am being super picky about kits that I buy that are like essential, most, mostly above like 50 by 70, I'm finding is going to be like my sweet spot, which it kind of has been for a little while, but it's like, that's, that's what I want the majority of my kits in my stash to be is 50 by 70 or smaller, because I just am the kind of person that wants those the the satisfaction of finishes and gets bored with a particular kit and wants to move on to the next so anyway I think I was just like you know Midnight Spell is great there's some color blocking that has kept it moving but I just it didn't take much for me to go like how about I kit up this kit and work on this one instead and I'll come back to Midnight Spell in a little bit um but yeah so that's happening <laughs> um oh sorry you guys um, I, you know what? I am noticing like a lot of shaking myself. I don't know if it's worse than normal. I'm going to adjust some things and I'll be right back. Cause I feel like if you're trying to watch, especially watching me multi-place, I'm probably driving you crazy. So I'm going to do a little bit of fiddling and, um, make this not an issue. So I'll be right back. All right, you guys, hopefully that is going to help a lot. <laughs> um, with my film setup, I play around with different things. Uh, normally like if I'm doing a whip and chat. Sometimes I don't do like my whole setup because it's, uh, I don't know. I can usually get away with not necessarily doing the same kind of setup, but it was just the shaking was starting to even bother really me. So I was like, I'm going to go, go ahead and like fix this. We still have over half this whip and chat to go and I don't want to make any of you motion sick. 
Anyway, we were talking about kits and whatnot. And um, speaking of kits and finishes, you guys, I was taking a look. I was kind of updating some things in my logbook um, as I was doing like my month in review video last week and stuff like that and realized I am coming up on a hundred completed diamond paintings. I believe I will hit that in November if I keep up my current pace. And I'm like, holy cow, that is not a small number of completed diamond paintings. That's over the course of, um, about a, it'll be like two and a half years. Yeah. Yeah, about two and a half years. So I kind of am, uh, I'm kind of thinking that it would be fun to have like a special kit be my uh, my 100th completion. So I'm kind of like browsing through my gems flow, like what do I want it to be? <laughs> like one of my rainy day kits maybe or something like that. So uh, we will see, but yeah, I will be excited about that particular milestone. That's going to be a lot of fun. And um, with that, I also am finally, like I'm just waiting on something to come in. And I will finally be able to do a video on how I store my completed diamond paintings for you guys. This is quite possibly the question that I get asked the most is how do I store my completed diamond paintings? Uh, because I do complete a lot. And so even if I did hang them in my home, which I, I don't, I have one hanging in my home. Um, that is because of, um, a partnership I had done with Joanne's a while back and it's framed. And so it's hanging. And originally I just hung it to take up to, to get the content I needed for that partnership. But then after I was like, actually, this looks nice here. I'm going to leave it. <laughs> uh, so I did. Um, but anyway, I normally don't hang diamond paintings up in my home. If I had a dedicated craft room, I probably would. But I don't have a dedicated craft room. So I don't because they generally don't fit my own personal like home decor aesthetic. I do diamond paintings because I just enjoy how relaxing they are to work on. And so, yeah. Um, but people want to know like, okay, how do you store them? So I have been wanting to do this video for a very long time and, uh, just sort of mulling over like, what do I want this to be? And so I thought, oh, well, coming up on hitting a hundred completed diamond painting kits, I feel like the timing is good to go ahead and, and get the ball rolling on that one. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so that'll be fine. Drills and chills, I feel like is going well. We're past the halfway point and I feel like it's still going strong and I'm still very much enjoying it that I am not shockingly behind on sending out prizes. So I want to get caught up on that. Um, but thankfully people have been very, very patient, which I very much appreciate. Uh, I'm curious what you guys think as far as the content goes. I have been taking um, a little bit more relaxed approach to drills and chills as far as event content goes. Like for example, with like Summer with the Masters and stuff like that. Um, usually I try to have more like, uh, like almost teaching content or it's like more focused on like how to's and um, informational and stuff like that. And in this particular instance, one thing that I did that I thought would make it a little bit easier for me to tackle hosting this event by myself, and I also thought it could still be really fun, um, is I'm doing things like unboxings and small shop hauls, the kind of content that you would actually just normally see on my channel, but I'm just making it drills and chills specific and, um, oops, you know, embedding like the weekly giveaways within those videos as well. And yeah, what do you guys think of that? Or do you like that? Do you prefer something that has more of, um, I don't know what the word for it is, like an educational vibe to it? Like I think last year one of my drills and chills videos was like how was talking through like how I placed like the special drills that came with one of my DIY moonshop kits as part of a promotion. Like I'd gotten some free special drills from them, and so I was like, okay, here's how I decided to do this. Um, which by the way, I am really, I don't think I'm very good at all with planning out like my, um, like if I wanted to add enhancement drills to a kit, that is not my forte, but you know whose forte it is? My friend Randy over at You Can Call Me Butter. I am so overdue to hire her, um, for her, her relatively new small biz is called Bling the 
darn thing, but <laughs> she says uh, the name of it is Bling the Damn Thing, um, which I kind of love, actually. <laughs> but um, she is ridiculously talented at um, enhancing her diamond painting kits. And people were telling her forever, like, you're so good at this. Like, you should start a business. Like, no one has done this before. Uh, you should start a business where if people want to bling up their diamond paintings and they're willing to pay someone to help them do it, um, that should be you. <laughs> and so she started that business and um, she's actually, oops, sorry. She's giving away a basic diamond painting uh, consultation session as part of Drills and Chills. I'll be giving that away here in a couple weeks, I think. Stay tuned for weekly videos. <laughs> You'll see it there. But I also just want to actually hire her myself to do one. So I'll link to her Instagram. Like if you want to find out like more about it and contact her about helping you with the, with the project, um, she walks you through it step by step. She tells you exactly which which diamonds to order, but she also, she caters it to you. Like she talks to you and figures out like what you want and what you like, what you have in mind. And she, she's amazing. So uh, definitely go and check her out. She also has a YouTube channel. She just did actually a, uh, she was part of the craft-a-thon, uh, the weekend craft-a-thon that was a few weeks back. And she talked a lot about her small biz there. So maybe I'll link directly to that video as well. So Anyway, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, so yes, back to what I was saying was just in general, I would love to hear your guys' feedback because I feel like you're watching my weapon chats. You're maybe um, a little bit more like familiar with me and my channel and stuff like that and maybe more willing to share feedback and I value your feedback because you know women chats are a little more personal I feel like and stuff like that so if you have thoughts if you're like I'd prefer if you had more like the educational vibe or no like the unboxings and small shop hauls and post reviews like all that is totally fine to just make your drills and chills content or if you don't really have any preference whatsoever that's also completely fine <laughs> um Quick updates, just generally, because I, I want to make sure I have time for these tag questions, because I just know I'm going to get really, really stinking wordy, and I just want to make sure I leave time for those tag questions, because they're good. They were really, really good. Um, but quick updates on the family, the kids and I and Adam, we're all, we're doing pretty well. Um, we are enjoying that it is more like fall season. I really need to get Connor and um, Micah's Halloween costumes nailed down. <laughs> you guys, kids, and they're changing minds and stuff. Yeah, got to get that figured out. <laughs> and um, yeah, Adam and I are doing well. Still, still happy about our weekend getaway that we got to do in San Diego last weekend and stuff. That was such, such, such a treat. But all's well for the moment. Everyone's healthy. Connor does have a dental thing going on, it looks like. So we're taking care of that. <laughs> but other than that, all is well. Knock on wood. Knock on wood. We're in a, a little respite from people being ill. So I'm just going to enjoy it as long as it lasts <laughs> and keep taking our vitamins and washing our hands and all that good stuff. Um, anyway, let me get to these tag questions. So um, crafting with Susie. Like I said, she has a YouTube channel. She is really sweet and really funny. I really enjoy listening to her content. She also just recently put up a video that was like her unpopular opinions about diamond painting. And that was really funny to listen to as well. I actually agreed with some of them, <laughs> but uh, go take a listen. And like I said, let's, let's get her to 2000 subscribers. Cause that would be um, really fun. Um, but she posted, I think it was a month ago when I looked at the video, it was a month ago. Actually, it's right in front of me on my computer. Yeah. She posted it. It says a month ago, <laughs> uh, over a month ago at this point, actually, it was the end of August. Uh, it was the, it says the second annual diamond painting tag. And she put some questions in here. Like I said, I did not, um, catch the first one last year. I don't think, um, but, and, and I saw some of my fellow creators responding to it, you know, back when she did this like a month ago, <laughs> but I just didn't get to it. I'm trying to think of why I just, I kept forgetting. I'm extremely forgetful. But then this past week I was watching Lindsay Emeralds and Fairy Lights whip and chat and she did the tag for her whip and chat. And, um, she was like, and I tag any at the end, she was like, cause you're supposed to tag like other people to do the questions as well. She's like, I tag anyone that hasn't done these yet. And is like me <laughs> and you know, it was late to do it. And I was like, okay, well she's talking to me then I'll use this as a, as a good excuse to go ahead and do it as well. Especially when I, um, I enjoyed listening to Lindsay's answers to the questions and Susie's when I went back and listened and stuff. So I had to go and find my other fellow creators that have done it and listen to theirs. 
So anyway, I'll link to the video. She has these tag questions listed in the description box of her video, but I'm going to link straight to her video so that you are hopping on over to her channel. If you want to um, take a look at the list of these questions, feel free to answer along if you like in the comment section of this video. And I guess hers too. Give her some, give her some love over there and interaction. YouTube always likes when you leave comments on people's videos, the algorithm, it makes the algorithm happy. So her first question, you guys, these are good ones. I'm telling you her first question was who is the new DP artist, diamond painting artist that you discovered in 2022. And this was a, a hard one for me because I have been discovering a lot of new artists for diamond paintings because Jada Gem Shop keeps releasing new amazing diamond paintings um, from a lot of artists that are very much my taste. Uh, so, But the one that I'm going to point out specifically is Victoria Leal. Uh, Victoria Leal was the artist for the kit that I completed last, no, yeah, last month called Asleep. Um, and I just was so completely in love with and enamored by that artwork. And I love so much of Victoria Leal's artwork in general. I just want to get it all from Jade's shop. Um, it's so gorgeous. And I was so happy with how, how it turned out. So Victoria Leal and I guess honorary mention to like Kayla Rodriguez, who's Dolly Twal on Instagram and she licenses her artwork to Jada Gem Shop. That is a new one to me this year as well. So both of those artists um, are new discoveries for me here in 2022. The second question was, how many events have you participated in? You guys, I had to go back and look <laughs> at, at my finishes. I even had to go back to Instagram and check my hashtags to make sure I was getting, getting as many of them right as I could. So I participated in the Mermaids and Magic event that Crafting with Shay and You Can Call Me Butter hosted. Um, see, I, yeah, I poured way too many diamonds. Hold on. Let me pour some of these out. Cause this is just going to be silly. <laughs> um, I participated in halfway to Halloween, which Jacqueline and Jamie coordinated over on Instagram. That was fun. Um, I participated in the princess along and the June pride event. The Princess Along was hosted by Emeralds and Fairy Lights and Abigail Marie. And the June Pride event was hosted by Knox. And I worked on Wonder Woman 1984 from Diamond Art Club for that one. And then, of course, I participated in and co-hosted Summer with the Masters and completed several kits for that event, which was a lot of fun. And then I participated in ABs in August. I completed a kit from... Uh, DP with sparklers that was licensed um, and that was hosted by Jamie and Kirby over on Instagram and then I participated in claws and paws I worked on a kit from Aura Loa that they had sent over it was really really cute and cozy and uh, that event was hosted by Laura, Anxiety Art Adventures, and Steph, Drills Are a Girl's Best Friend, slash Lazy River Wood Turning. Um, and then, right now, <laughs> I'm doing a whole lot of participating in Drills and Chills and the Festival of Witches. So lots of events. And uh, between now and the end of the year, I'm also planning to participate in Dringle, <laughs> Dringle Jills? No, Jingle Drills that my friend Lindsay is hosting. And the Diamonds and Disney event that Christiane and Kyle Diamond Paints, I believe is their name, um, they are hosting in December as well. And they just announced that today, Saturday. So i um, excited for that. <laughs> now, um, I wish that I had the time and the margin to participate in all the events. You guys, there are a lot of events going on. I'll point you to two different resources for finding out more about what events are happening. Uh, so first, if you're on Instagram, um, Mr. and Mrs. Dubay Diamond Paint has a spreadsheet where they uh, try to track the different events that are happening throughout the year. And they already have a spreadsheet going for 2023. And then if you're on Facebook, uh, there's a diamond painting events group that's run by Kay. Um, I, I don't remember her last name or I can't pronounce it. I'm so sorry. But Kay runs an event, a uh, Facebook group that also she tries to track everything 
uh, that's happening each month and tries to have like the hosts, you know, participate and share info there as well, which that has to be a lot of work for both those people. So thank you to both of them for, for keeping those uh, resources available and as up to date as possible. Um, so yeah, that was question number two. Question number three, do you set aside a specific time to diamond paint or, uh, or is it when, or do you just diamond paint whenever you have time? Uh, yes. <laughs> it's a somehow both both uh so i i feel like diamond painting is part of like how i decompress and wind down at the end of the day and so most if not all evenings i will do at least a little bit of diamond painting sometimes it's not much at all especially if like adam and i are trying to catch up on shows or if we want to like watch a movie or game or whatever i might not diamond paint for very long usually we'll like hang out and like watch a show or whatever for a little while and then even if i'm only gonna go over and diamond paint for half an hour sometimes that's that's like all i need (laughs) so yes i i do try to set aside time specifically to diamond paint each day it's just it's very relaxing and uh, like regulating for me (laughs) and stuff like that so uh yes (laughs) and then i also i just squeeze i also squeeze it in when if i have time like during the day um, like depending on like if I've gotten all my errands and, and housework and stuff done, sometimes even before I've gotten my housework done, so I, sometimes I use it to avoid housework, um, I will occasionally um, like, or I'll usually have like my diamond painting just out on the kitchen table and I'll grab, you know, five minutes here and there of actual of, of diamond painting during the day or if the kids are super chill or whatever. Um, I think I t- yeah, I talked about that last week in the whip and chat when I was talking a little bit more about like, how do you diamond paint so fast? I just, I squeeze it in a lot here and there. And I also do just generally spend a lot of time diamond painting in the evenings anyway, after the kids go to bed. So that was the answer to that question. <laughs> uh, number four, what is the diamond painting website or small business you discovered in 2022? I'm telling you guys, these questions are great. Uh, so I will actually try to answer both parts of this question. So one of the diamond painting, I'll, I'll list a couple of diamond painting shops that I discovered specifically in 2022. Like I think I'd already heard of, I'd already heard of Jaded Gem Shop by then. I don't remember. Um, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, like I'd heard of it, even if I hadn't ordered from her yet. Um, but specifically, I did discover Diamond Painting Shop, spelled S H O P P E. Um, I discovered them um, at the beginning of the year. I also discovered Carrot Art this year. I just recently unboxed them. And um, yeah, a ton actually. I was, spinoff comment, um, I was sitting down with my Modmin team for Diamonds and Emeralds, Modmin being mods and admins, um, which is like Lindsay and a few other people uh, that helped me with that group. But we work really hard to keep this list up to date of diamond paintings that offer legally licensed artwork, specifically like only legally li- licensed artwork. And we try really hard to keep it up to date and to vet as many companies as possible. But I was going through and it had been a couple of months since we'd updated it. And there were some you know, new shops that needed to be added, a couple of shops that have transitioned over to all licensed artwork, a couple of shops that had closed down, um, a shop or two that had changed their, uh, their, their shop from like Etsy to their own website or something like that. So I was going through and doing some updates and then like, you know, shared that with the group and stuff like that. But if you're curious, um, I will link to that. Uh, we just use a, a Google Doc, and I also share it like as a PDF in the group. But uh, the Google Doc is live, um, so if you follow the link for the Google Doc below, it should be up to date with you know any updates I've made. And there's a note at the top about when the last time it was that it was updated. But I just am so happy that that list only keeps growing, and I am just stunned at how much it has grown. Uh, since I started diamond painting and at the beginning of 2020, like I swear that there were maybe a dozen shops that had legally licensed artwork and only legally licensed artwork. If that, if a dozen, like 10 or less, I feel like it just wasn't that many. And now like that list is super long and it makes me so, 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 so happy. It's a huge variety of price points and styles and all of that. So 
anyway, that was a tangent, but there we go. <laughs> um, that was that question. Oh, and shops, small shops that I, I recognize. Now, I'm so afraid of leaving anyone out. Um, and it was hard for me to like think through and like restrict this. Okay, small shops I discovered in 2022. And these I will totally credit to my friends, Jamie and Jacqueline, who are fellow pen and minder fiends like me. Um, they introduced me to Artful Acrylics, which is on Facebook, and Poshy Pens, both of which are on Facebook. So those are both shops that were new to me this year. And I'm pretty sure that Jacqueline had told me about one of them like over a year ago and it just completely left my brain, but I'm leaving it on my, <laughs> on my list of shops I discovered this year anyway. It's the first time I bought from either of these shops, so <laughs> that counts, right? Um, yeah, so I'll go with those for uh, like uh, small shops. For accessories, anyway. Uh, question number five. You guys, this is gonna be a longer whip and chat. I'm gonna go over an hour. I don't know if I've ever really done that before. I think we're gonna go quite a bit over an hour. I'm just, we're just gonna go with it. You'll have to tell me what you think. Number five, because there's 10 questions, is the largest and smallest diamond paintings you purchased slash completed in 2022. I went and looked these up ahead of time. The largest that I finished was the, and I'm calling this a finish, I think. Uh, was the first quadrant of my original cross-stitch conversion project. Um, I'll link to that playlist below, but I started out the year working on a cross-stitch conversion project of one particular painting, but I had such a difficult time with that first quadrant that I found myself not wanting to go back to it, and so I decided to indefinitely shelve that particular project, but it was still the largest that I've completed to date that one quadrant because <laughs> it was like 70 72 or 74 by like 93 or something like that centimeters it was big it was big it had squares and double-sided adhesive it was a big one <laughs> the smallest that i've completed um i think was the partial that i did that was uh from diamond dots and had the the really cute foxes um, like the mama fox and the baby fox, and it had like the pink watercolor background. It was really cute. You can check it out on my Instagram if you wanted to hop over there. You can see the different, different. I I almost I try to post as many of my finishes there as I can, but uh, that was probably the smallest. And I like little partials. It's nice to get a finish quickly with that. I think that the the whole like canvas size was like 40 by 50, but the actual diamond painting area was really small compared to that. So I think just by number of diamonds, that was probably the smallest completed. The largest that I bought, well, was my <laughs> my replacement cross-stitch conversion canvas, which has not seen nearly enough love from me. Um, and that was, I, I bought new supplies from new suppliers and got a new chart so that I could start off just completely fresh and much, 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 much happier with the supplies and whatnot for sure. Uh, so that was the largest that I bought. The smallest that I bought is definitely the Unicorn Rainbow Kit, which is a Diamond Art Club Amazon exclusive that was, uh, the artwork is by Kate, who's Pixie Sticks. She's a, a very sweet friend of mine. And um, she has a YouTube channel, Diamond Painting and Dr. Pepper, and uh, it's new but I really already love her content a lot. But she's also the head pixel artist for Diamond Art Club. And this was, I think her first, yeah, this was her first piece that was licensed by Diamond Art Club um, to release. And it's so cute. It's 23 by 23 centimeters and it's adorable. And Lindsay, uh, she mentioned this in her whip and chat when she was doing this tag. She was like, that was her smallest purchased and completed. But she actually bought two of that kit and one of them she completed as charted and the other she completed in all ABs, which I think is so fun. So I need to see if she's posted like the finish of the all AB one. And if she hasn't, I'll go, I'll go nudge her. Lindsay, if you're watching, post that. I wanna see it. <laughs> um, and then that, so that was that question. Question number six is what is a diamond painting you hope to complete by the end of 2022? Uh, so I'm gonna cheat and I'm gonna have two answers for this question. So first, I want to pick out and complete something really special to be my 100th completed diamond painting. That's not my 100th completed diamond painting of the year. I'm not that fast. It's my 100th completed diamond painting of, of all time, which is two and a half years. Uh, so I want that one to be special. So like that's kind of a goal is like I want to pick out uh, a 
a fun kit to do for my 100th. And then I was looking like, okay, what kits do I know that I kind of maybe want to work on during like the winter season or something like that? Like, I know I want to participate in the um, Diamonds and Disney event and Jingle Drills. So uh, for sure, some kind of um, fan art kit. I already have one in my, well, <laughs> one at least in mine from Jaded Gem Shop because she's carrying some really gorgeous fan art, which is still all above board, yes, even though it's fan art. Um, and then I also was thinking that I would work on, um, min was it Midnight on the Polar Express or just Night on the Polar Express from Mandy Manzano and Diamond Art Club. I really, really, really fell in love with that artwork when I saw it. And um, it's one of the few that I have considered actually completing and displaying because my youngest kiddo loves trains and my oldest loves specifically railroad crossings. So I just have a really sentimental attachment to like the whole concept like behind that artwork and stuff like that. So I really do think that I want to work on that one this December and finish it before, before the end of the year. Be my, that'll be my jingle drills kit maybe. <laughs> uh, so that was that question. Question number seven, the diamond painting you have had second thoughts about purchasing. Well, <laughs> the one that I did have serious second thoughts about and promptly did something about it was my cross stitch, my first cross stitch conversion project. Um, I tried really hard to power through that. If you want to hear more about why I stopped working on my first attempt at a cross stitch conversion project, it had everything to do with the materials and nothing to do with the actual process of working on a cross stitch conversion to a diamond painting. I'll link to the video and or like the playlist where you can like hear me talk about that in more detail, but that one definitely. Also just in general, um, I, did some impulse buying like during the diamond art club uh, fourth anniversary sale when they released a bunch um i just had way too much fun with that um and then in general just any really large diamond paintings i'm having second thoughts about purchasing so that's why when i was going through my gems flow and trying to pick out kits to de stash i was like i just feeling like I really don't want to keep very many kits that are bigger than like 50 by 70 or 60 by 80 tops um, just in general. So I, that could change at some point, but for now, that's kind of where I'm at. Um, so yeah, that's, that's that one. Uh, question number eight, what is the new diamond painting channel you discovered in 2022? I have a paralyzing fear of making anyone feel left out like truly, truly, truly don't want anyone to feel left out. So I'm gonna take a cop-out answer to this. And I'm actually gonna tell you to go check out Crafting with Shay because Girlfriend is, ooh, was that one of my kids? I just heard a big thump. Hold on a second, you guys. Okay, all is well, all is well. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, Shay is really, really incredibly good at keeping a finger on the pulse of the community as far as like new creators go. We have so many new creators joining the community lately. I love them all and basically rely on Shay in a lot of ways to help me keep up with people because she just so often will have people in her lives. Um, she does weekly lives on Sundays, which is tomorrow. I'm already excited because I think she's having single and placing Anthony on there and I'm excited for that. Um, but she just, she does such a nice job of keeping up with new creators and making them feel like really welcome and everything like that. So if you don't already follow Crafting with Shay, you should. Um, but I just am loving all of the new creators joining and I just am otherwise completely terrified of making someone feel left out or forgotten by trying to narrow it down to like a specific person that I discovered <laughs> this year. So Sorry for the little bit of a cop-out answer, but there we go. Number nine, what is your favorite diamond painting that you've completed this year? This was hard, you guys, to pick the answer to this one. I went back and was looking at my finishes for the year, and there I promise there will be no spoilers here, but I will say that my favorite is the Rika Raikkonen Mystery Kit from Diamond Art Club. That, that was my favorite finish so far this year. 
um, in large part because I got to experience that as a true mystery. Um, I ordered it and when it arrived, I kitted it up right away. I had actually my mom was in town and so I had her help me out and um, she unrolled the canvas for me and I wasn't looking and she covered it up with like brown crafting paper for me. And so I had it revealed to me a section at a time. Again, no, I'm not saying anything spoilery, but it was just so magical to work on a mystery kit in that way. And it was just a huge bonus that I ended up absolutely loving the artwork. I really enjoy Rika Raikkonen's artwork a lot. I think her handle on Instagram is like Midorisa, Midorisa art or something like that. Um, but it was just so magical and so enjoyable and the quality was so good. I love Diamond Art Club's mystery kits because they're true, true mysteries. Um, and I was very glad that I was able to, I felt very lucky that I was able to avoid spoilers on that one. So um, that I think I'm going to call that one my favorite. <laughs> and the 10th and final question on here. So yeah, we're going over an hour, but I guess not too terribly. So uh, this question is the diamond painting I really want to purchase by the end of 2022. Um, I just did. <laughs> So Jade, um, so Jade licensed an artist whose artwork I have been coveting, coveting practically since I started diamond painting, but no one had it anywhere as licensed artwork. I came closer than I care to admit. I was tempted more than I have been by anything else to pick up an unlicensed version of some of this artist's artwork because I wanted to work on it that badly and I didn't and I'm glad that I didn't because Jade got it and did all of her thorough research about carrying fan art and she got this glorious collection of princesses and they they are all coming to live with me <laughs> <laughs> and I'm so happy. I made myself wait on it for a while. And I literally asked Jade, I'm like, when are you placing your next order from your supplier? Because all of her kits are made to order. I was like, when are you placing your next order? When do I have to decide by? <laughs> and she told me. And so I made myself wait. And then I was like, okay, this is, I'm going to call this like an early birthday gift and told Adam he's not allowed to get anything for me for my birthday because I got this for myself for my birthday gift. Um, and yeah, so that's going to be super fun. <laughs> I'm so incredibly happy. So I had, yeah, no, I had like said joking, not joking um, to Jade. I was like, if you license and release all of them, I'm literally going to buy all of them. And, and she did. So <laughs> I'm so happy though. Cannot wait to share them with you guys. I'll link to the, to the artist is Mari. Is it Mari 945? I'll try my best to remember to link to the collection in the description box. I'm really setting myself up for a really, really, really long description box for this whip and chat. So I apologize in advance if you have to go do some hunting. I am gonna keep talking your ear off just a little bit longer because I'm gonna try to finish up this section with you guys. This um, putty, this chit from Enablers Outpost is working wonderfully and it's buzzing right along. This is a 10 placer. It's one of the thinner metal multi-placers. I get these um, relatively inexpensive from AliExpress. There's a specific store. I always link it in my whip and chats, um, but it's definitely like the thinner style and I like it. Um, yeah, so anyway, thank you to Crafting with Susie for putting together that diamond painting tag. I'm sorry I'm so late to the game on this one, but um, I appreciate that Lindsay shared her answers and I felt like, okay, it's okay, I can do mine too then. So I am challenging I, any creators that follow me and maybe didn't see Lindsay's video or don't follow Lindsay yet, go follow Lindsay at Emeralds and Fairy Lights too, um, to do these tag questions. I'll link to the video where Susie answers them and she has the list in the description box of that video. So I love tag questions, you guys, and um, it's fun to hear people's answers to these too. Like I was just loving, loving listening to, to Susie's and to Lindsay's. So what I have coming up this week, 
kind of the the usuals. We'll have a drills and chills video on Thursday. We'll have a sneak peek on Friday from Diamond Art Club. I have a few kits in a little stack over there that I'm trying really hard to work my way through to unbox um, from a couple of new to me companies. I actually need to place a couple of orders from more new to me companies because again, I'm looking through that, that list that we updated of our companies that have licensed artwork. And I was like, there's a couple of these that I've been meaning to buy from. I gotta go, gotta go check it out. Um, Muni Made is launching diamond paintings. Is it this week? Be sure you follow along with Muni Made because she's got some super cute diamond paintings coming as well. Um, yeah, I'm here for it. I'm here for all of it. <laughs> Other things, um, I am debating. I have not been doing much in the way of post reviews on my completed diamond painting kits this month. Uh, well, last month, really, because originally I was planning on having one of my Drills and Chills videos at like the end of September being like a set of mini post reviews. Um, and then I changed my mind on that kind of at the last minute. And then I was like, well, shoot, should I just do a giant set of mini post reviews like for my very last video of Drills and Chills? Should I go in and do some individual post reviews for some of these kits? I am still torn. Honestly, part of it just comes down to the hours in a day because I, with doing weekly Drills and Chills videos, that means one less day realistically that I can do other videos. Um, and I'm trying not to put up videos literally every single day. I feel like I'm really freaking close. And if I do that, I'm going to burn out. So unfortunately, I feel like post reviews are the things that kind of just um, got cut. And I don't like that because I really enjoy sharing post reviews. So maybe maybe I'll do some like belated post reviews in like November or something when Drills and Chills is over. <laughs> um but I'm glad I finally got up a small shop haul for you guys. I have a couple other like tutorial how-to kinds of videos in mind that I'm hoping I can do soon. Like I said, I should have a storage solution video to share with you guys sometime before, hopefully before the end of this month, maybe not until November though. We'll see. This week specifically, I have one or two days, I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna put up, but I'll just, I'll see when I go to film, um, when the boys are in school, I'll see what, what mood strikes me. But there we go. It is really not evenly placed. I'm gonna try my hand at <laughs> using a straightener to, to kind of like fix up some of these drills. <sighs> Light color drills, especially rounds, it's just, you can see anything that's slightly off, but at least you don't really see any of the symbols behind it because Diamond Art Club's good about that kind of thing. But I'll go through and fidget with it. But yay, we did a section. You guys got to see some multi-placing. <laughs> um, I liked the supplies I used today. That was fun and I'm glad you guys hung out with me, especially for a little bit longer than usual whip and chat. So I hope that you are having an amazing start to your week. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, let's see, what should you do? Um, well, this is Moonlit Bride. So how about, there's a bride emoji. You could do like the bride emoji, I guess, if you have it. If you don't have it, you could do a moon emoji because that's the name or a skull emoji because she's got like skeleton arms and stuff. But anyway, um, do you like my matching nails? I'm having fun with them, but I'm about to go take them off because uh, the the these are marking up like this matte style one and the ends are like not looking very good. I guess maybe I should have sealed it with some clear polish. Or, no, then it would have looked not matte. Anyway, you guys don't care about that. If you made it all the way to the end, leave one of those emojis. Feel free to answer any of the tag questions that strike your fancy down below in the comment section. And if you're a creator or have a channel or those are the same thing, uh, feel free to do the tag yourself because I'd love to see what your answers are. But you guys have an amazing rest of your day. My husband just started a live video on Instagram. I'm gonna go watch that. Wonder what he's doing. Um, <laughs> I hope you guys have an amazing week. Uh, also subscribe if you made it all the way to the end because you're probably gonna like it here and give this video a thumbs up before you head out because that also helps me out a lot. All right, my friends, have an amazing rest of your day. I'll talk with you in the next one. Bye.